It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wooden Hand Brewery and it's their Cornish Mutiny Ale coming in at 4.8% ABV. There's a genuine Cornish guy in full mutiny mode. There you go. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. We've got a red bottle cap here. A little bit of smoke on the opening. It seems a little flat from what I've just seen from the bottle opening. Wasn't too much going on. And that was a, a, a very kind of rigorous pour. We've developed a one finger slightly off white head. Beer in the glass, it's a deep mahogany amber coloured ale, a little hazy, light carbonation would be the word, there you go, you can just see it there. Let's get the aroma on the beer, oh and it smells very good, very good. Oh, loads of sticky, chocolatey coffee. Biscuits, freshly baked bread. Oh, this smells fantastic. Like a, a very well brewed best bitter. I cannot wait any longer. I have to dive into this one. Cheers. And wow, this beer is brewed in Truro, Cornwall, and boy have they pulled this one out the bag. I've reviewed one or two of their other ranges from their beer range. That didn't make sense. I've reviewed a couple of their other beers, and they've been okay. You know, they've not been absolutely hitting the heights of real good beer, but this... Blimey, this is really good. First of all, ignoring the flavours for a moment, I want to talk to you about this beautiful, soft Cornish water. It's lightly carbonated, but it drinks superbly well. It just... It's so soft, it's so drinkable, it's so refreshing. And that is a solid, solid foundation for the rest of the beer. And it just goes on and on and on in the taste. And we'll get to the taste now. At 4.8% ABV, this is a premium male, best bitter. It's bringing up big elements of chocolate, coffee, Loads of caramel, loads of lovely, not butterscotch. I'm not going anywhere near butterscotch. It's not diacetol for one moment. So, so take that out of your heads if you're thinking when I'm talking caramel, I'm not talking diacetol. I'm talking about real good kind of sticky toffee flavour. It's just really good. The carbonation I mentioned earlier, the, the, when I poured the beer out, I was a little disappointed with the way it poured out. I was thinking, oh no, it's going to be a bit flat. Um, it is, in all honesty, it's November 2014, which is the 11th month. That's the 12th, so technically it goes off in a month's time. So I suppose my worry there was the carbonation was, was, was the beer had just gone flat, but no. It's perfect. The carbonation levels are perfect. It's nice small bubbles. It's not enough to make you burp and fart and, and be uncomfortably bloated.
but it's enough to lift the beer onto the tongue, onto the inside of the mouth, spring off that wonderful palate of, 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 of fruity, bready, biscuity, malty, as I mentioned, toffee, coffee, bit of caramel, loads of caramel, bit of coffee. It's a good beer. That's, I, I suppose that's all I've really got to say. This fine beer enjoys a dark rich colour with a distinctive hoppy character and a slightly biscuity flavour. Loads of biscuity flavour. That might be the fact that where I've kind of aged it a little bit. I have had it a good six months, I will be honest. Um, Maris Otter, malted barley, torrified wheat, crystal malt, English and European hops, married a fine English Oh, married with a fine English ale yeast. Best served, slightly chilled. Yeah. By far, for me, their best beer. By a long way. A long, long way. The Cornish Mutiny. And it's one of them beers as well. I'll remember it. If I ever go down to Cornwall, Devon, that, that sort of area, and I, look, and I find a wooden hand beer, I'll look for the Cornish Mutiny because it kind of sticks in your head. It's a, it's a, it's a nicely named beer to remember. I'd like to drink more of it, I'd like to try it on cask. How would I rate it? I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. It's, it's, a, it's a well put together beer. Go out and try it. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.